How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. Awesome. Now to distract those things. Carefully. I can't reach that brick. I knew that'd be the way to do it. I'm actually really happy that this is choices and not first person shootery. Now's the time. God, now's the sucky part's gonna come. I have to go kill my brother. This is the tearjerker. Okay, here we go. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Head. That would be cool. I guess you have to discover it sometime. God. There we go. Holy crap! Run! <laughs> Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Can I talk to her? No. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Oh no. Oh, shit. We gotta hurry. Oh crap. Stupid police alarm. You'd think I would have known that, but maybe they put it in after I was arrested. But stupid, stupid alarm. Oh. Oh. 
Doc. Come on, baby, time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled Skip up right back. Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly-dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. I right, that door's not locked anymore. Shit! You three, get on it! I'll get back as fast as I can! Stay away from the windows. Crap. Crap. Make it through this. You should know that I think you're a great guy. We will make it through this! Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know. I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Shit! On it. Are you sure? Shit! Oh, shit! Okay, then. Come in time. Can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Come in time. Did you find anything? Nothing. Oh, wait. The window was screwed. Go! gun. I'm going to kick that old man's ass. Oh, that fucker. Hey, Glenn. Uncountable severe emergencies in all counties. Georgia cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage nine catastrophe. Augusta, stage I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances.
You gotta do what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. If they go from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. Hey, Kim. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kitty. You got it. Did you check the glove box? I swear I saw. Oh man, just look over it. Okay, wandering around, trying to figure out what I'm doing. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met, and he was such a... It's just that I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked you, too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I was gonna help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. I guess I better start making the rounds to everybody else. Let's see what else I can find out while I'm wandering around here. Because I'm pretty sure we're towards the end of the episode. Oh man, check this out. The Jumatron has this mini gun on his shoulder. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was <laughs> toast. You. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Ruth, let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? Yeah, she's great. Well, stay the fuck away from her. Or what? Or, uh, everyone will know that you, Lee Everett, are a killer. And you were before it was something you had to do to stay alive. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Fuck hey, you, buddy. Lee, Fuck. do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. 
This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. No, no, it's not. Well, that's where it wraps up, guys. Episode one, a new day. Here's a preview of episode two. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy! I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fuck with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! Yeah! going to be fucked up and i have that so we will start that pretty soon i'll see you guys soon oh wow there's my stats hmm, that's interesting i'm not sure when i lied to herschel i i didn't know what choice that wouldn't been a lie of course i'd have chosen duck he's the kid of course, I'd side with Kenny, but evidently that's not the majority. Um, of course, I give Irene the gun. And of course, I'd choose Carly. You know, and after thinking about that comment, it's not because she's a woman. It was because she had the gun. I thought I'd kind of clarify that. I want the sharpshooter. Well, thanks, guys, for watching episode one. Um, I have episode two already ready to go through, so I'll start putting that up as soon as possible. Thank you.